NASA and NOAA just launched three new space missions to track the sun and help protect Earth from dangerous solar storms. They're headed to a point in space one million miles from Earth where these satellites can hover and watch the sun 24 seven. The space weather has things like coronal mass ejections, solar flares, sunspots, radiation storms, but they still affect our outer layers of our atmosphere. Our current warning satellite is decades old and it's about to run out of fuel. That's what we're relying on today. The most important mission, SWIFO L1. That is the world's first dedicated operational space weather satellite that's gonna give us very modern technology observational equipment. IMAP will help to map our heliosphere and Carruthers will help us study our geocorona or the Earth's outer atmosphere. This could mean better aurora forecasting and also more lead time for astronauts if there's dangerous radiation on the way. And sending all three on the same rocket? We save so much money for the taxpayers. The sun never sleeps and now neither will our satellites. Jeremy Lewan, Newswatch 16.